How's it going everyone? I'm Contemption and today we're going to talk about Herman. Now, archers in early Rise of Kingdoms get a real tough time. I don't suggest working archers, but if you're set on it, we can talk about it. We'll go over it. They're not terrible, but they just get completely overshadowed by cavalry, especially because of Money Moto from the VIP shop. Just totally wrecks archers. But we're going to go over it anyways. Some people do like it. I did see it in my free to play account in 2563, and the player had a lot of success. So we'll go over it. We'll go over the civilization. We'll go over the skills, the talent trees, and the equipment. Here we go. Okay, so Herman. Herman is an interesting commander. He's got a great talent tree. He's got decent skills. You can put decent equipment on him. But first, let's talk about a civilization before we dive too deep into him. So, Herman comes from, oh, where is it? Not Britain, not Germany, not Rome, not Japan. Was it Germany? Oh, it was Germany. You know, that's the th <laughs> So confusing. Just like Sun Tzu having archers, Herman has cavalry units. Why? I don't know. Somebody needs to ask Lilith this question because it makes no sense at all. I, yeah, even just looking at this now, like increased cavalry attack by 5%, but you have a Herman. <laughs> Why isn't it archers? But Germany is fantastic. You've got troop training speed by 5% and action point recovery by 10%. Germany is a fantastic civilization for early Rise of Kingdoms, mid Rise of Kingdoms, and even late Rise of Kingdoms. Some people still have it. Very strong, especially if you're a cavalry player. Go figure. Special units are getting defense and health. So it's a nice split. Very strong. It's a great civilization. And I ran Germany for a very long time because of the troop training speed. Um, I wasn't a huge cavalry player, but the troop training speed really helped me get to you know, a good amount of T5, and I'm glad I used it, but it does not benefit Herman whatsoever. So anyways, let's jump back into the commander page. I just don't understand sometimes. But okay, let's talk about skills. Now, he does a great amount of damage. He does a great debuff, and he silences for two seconds. So let's read this off. This is with the expertise, so take that in mind. You want to get him expertise, of course. Deals direct damage to a target. A damage factor of 1150. It's very strong for a single target damage commander. And that's unfortunately where Herman is, is single target damage. But he is usually paired up with Kusunoki, so that's where the AoE comes in. It reduces its target, target's rage by 100, which is pretty decent, and silences it for two seconds. Now, silence is fantastic because it renders the target's troops unable to use their active skill. Very strong commanders in late game like Guan are very strong because they have a silence. It's a little bit longer. It's three seconds, but it's very strong. So Herman is a strong commander. He is good. And he just gets overshadowed by cavalry. And it's mostly because you can buy um, Minamoto, unfortunately. And double C is very strong too. But okay, second skill. Uh, military genius. Archer units led by this commander gain 10% increased attack, which isn't bad, and 10% increased march speed. Not terrible, because you do want that march speed, but you're never going to outrun cavalry. So I would have rather seen health or defense, but it is what it is. Next, and I talk about this on each commander, don't use him as a garrison against rallies from enemies. Maybe only for Shadow Legion, but just try not to put epic commanders on your wall. Sun Tzu's an exception for Shadow Legion, but don't take rallies. Just don't from enemy players. It's, unless it's like, you know, a T2, I don't know, uh, a T2 alliance in early kingdom rallying you and it's funny, then sure, put Herman on the wall. It doesn't matter. But besides that, don't use Herman on your wall. Uh, National Hero increases normal attack damage of troops led by this commander by 10%. Normal attacks have a 10% chance to grant additional rage, or additional 100 rage. Very strong. It's a 10% chance, so it's not going to target all the time, but there's no cooldown on it. So it's not like it can happen once every 5 seconds. It could cycle all the time. Your chances are low, but it could cycle one after another. 
Now the normal attack damage bonus is also very strong. This commander, honestly on paper, should do very well. It's just overshadowed by cavalry. That's the problem. Unfortunately, you need infantry to counter cavalry, and that's why Bjorn, Sun Tzu, Richard, and Charles just do that much better, and why players typically choose them early game. But let's talk about talent tree. Now, if I were to run Herman, and clearly I've run him before, because I didn't even know I had this talent tree, to be honest with you, um, this isn't bad. Like, honestly, this is not bad. I would change it now, knowing that the rage cap is 220. How would I change it? Great question. Let's, I wouldn't do that. These are obviously just tests. Okay, let's, let's try a new one. Okay, let's go obviously to rejuvenate. Let's go there. Let's get this. Now this is very strong. So I like the full archer, like full archer talent tree. I think it's, it's very strong. I might regret going to full quiver, but anyways, this is very strong. So whistling arrow, when the army led by this commander contains only archer units, which it should. Normal attacks have a 10% 10 chance to increase all damage dealt by 25% for the next two seconds. Very strong. I don't see a cooldown. Maybe there's one built in. I've never tested it before. Very strong. I highly suggest going there. What I would do next is reduce skill damage taken. I would do troops led by this commander deal 3% increased skill damage. The last two, and it would be nice if I could get to clarity. But I don't think I would get there even if I took out Full Quiver and you're not going to want to take out Razor Sharp because that is where your Rage is coming from or a lot of it. Uh, I'd probably just go for the health here. Uh, yeah, I would definitely go for the health. And there you go. That would be the talent tree I ran for Herman. If I was using Herman as a primary and I have no plans on using Herman as a primary on my next account. If I did or if somebody convinced me to somehow during a live stream for whatever reason... Maybe I would use Herman, but I, this is the talent tree I would use if I ended up using him. I wouldn't use anything else. You could use this. Maybe you'd have good luck, but you're missing out on Whistling Arrow, and I think that's really, really strong, especially when you're talking about it lining up with his huge skill damage on a single target. Very strong. This commander, honestly, is really good. I just wish that they had made them a little bit stronger or at least given them a civilization like, you could switch civilizations, but I still think France is your best bet. Just, well, Germany's good, but it's cavalry, so it's really hard. Like, if you're an archer player, you're probably going to want to go with Ottoman Empire. For increased archer health, troop march speed, and active skill damage, 5-5%. Five, 5 this would honestly be fantastic if you were going all in on archers. You get health and attack. It's really good. That's If I was going full archers... For early Rise of Kingdoms, I would probably go with Ottoman Empire if my main focus was doing damage in open field. It's probably what I'd go with. I know France would be great for the healing speed, but if I was at the disadvantage you are at with cavalry, I'd probably go with that. Uh, equipment. Now, I don't have much early game equipment. I can show you what late game equipment works on archers because late game archers are fantastic. I love my archer marches and I can't wait to have more. I'm looking forward to the next archer commanders. But look, if I was doing, and I don't even know, to be totally honest with you, like, what do you use? What do archers use? Like, they're kind of, they're totally hooped. I guess you use Staff of the Lost. Okay, that's actually not bad. You don't have a green, like, you don't have an advance. You could use Blessed Blade, 4% attack, but you're kind of hooped. Um, Helm-wise, definitely do Helm of the Phoenix first. Makes the most sense after that. Again, I think you're you're totally hooped. There's really nothing else you can get until you go to the revival set. That's it, man. Archers get a bad rap, man. I, I like even this. Like, yeah, you can go chainmail. That's an easy four percent when you get the. Or is it even four and a half percent? No, it's uh thirty percent. Yeah, I think that's just one. Yeah, that's just one. So it's four percent. But other than that, oh, you can do commander's heavy armor. That's not bad. 6% health when you get that specialized. What's that 7.5 or 8%? 8%. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, that commander's heavy armor is pretty nice. Uh, this, I'd go for Saint Song, but you can go for the 2.5% health. That's pretty cool. I'd definitely go for that. Uh, pants wise, what are you going to get for pants? 
Oh, there you go. Greaves of the Exile. There you go. 6% increased defense. Get that specialized. That'd be good. Uh, do we got anything? Here we go. Edge Boots is probably your best bet until you get into Cloud... Oh, not Cloud Racers. Sorry. Flame Treads. They look pretty similar, right? Yeah, that's what I'm going with. Besides that, Archers kind of get a bad rap, guys. Like, there's some decent gear, but um, it is not like the uh, Vanguard set, that's for sure. Or the Windswept set, even. Like, that is very strong for infantry and cavalry, but Archers just get totally left out of that. And I don't know why. Windswept could have been for Archers. It could have been for all three. But, oh well. But there you go, guys. That is Herman. I don't suggest doing Archers, Early Rise of Kingdoms. I'll show you the gear you can get later on because I am like, I've got for Season of Conquest, I usually run four infantry and two archers. I run Naboo YSG and Ramses. Typically, I'll run Ramses Mehmed. I am looking for another archer commander, but right now it's Naboo YSG. Can't split those up in open field for murder balls. You just can't. And then Ramses and Mehmed in murder balls is fantastic. Such good reports. Mehmed with the relic. The AOE, oh, and the horn on Ramses just helps cast it so much. Oh, it's fantastic. But this, like, you could do this gear to start. This is very strong gear. The revival set gives you some great bonuses. And just the set itself, when it's specialized, is giving you a whole bunch of stats. And then, you know, Golden Age is very strong. And same with Flame Dreads. But then eventually, you do want to get the full Dragon's Breath set. Uh, because it gives archer health, it gives skill damage increase. It's very strong. But there you go, guys. That is Herman in a nutshell. That's what I would run talent-wise, gear-wise, civilization-wise. It's a hard go, but hey, if you're looking for difficulty level, start with archers. There's your difficulty level. But there you go, guys. That's what I got for Herman. Until next time, have a good one. Later.